Prime Minister of Israel, Prime Minister of Israel, through the Embassy of Israel, Kathandu Nepal. Your Right Honorable Excellency, the world is condemning the latest Israeli terrorist attacks against Palestinian people in Gaza. We also condemn this heinous crime your government has been committing, and we are strongly demand, and we strongly demand the war must be stopped. Peace must be restored, Palestinian territory must be returned to the Palestinian people. Territories occupied by Israel from the Arab nations must be returned to their legitimate countries. The Israeli government has not only continued to promote state-sponsored terrorism against the Arab nation and people since the very establishment of the state of Israel on May, on 14 May 1948 through the United Nations Charter 181, but also continued to displace the Arab from its occupied territory, imports Appetite, uncontrolled areas, applied discrimination, putting Palestinian people under military rule. This caused all of to live under severe conditions such as poor economic activities, being subjected to official discrimination, imposed low income life, and deliberately under underfunded and forced to admit into resistance. Let us look at a brief historical background of the establishment of the Israeli state for Jewish immigrants and displaced people, the Jewish, the Jews who were sent out from Eastern Europe through pogroms and persecution migrated to Palestine. The Ben Hope Declaration by the British government in 1970 supported the national home for Jewish people in Palestine, which caused the conflict between Jews and the Arab communities. Since then, the conflict had been continuously occurring for centuries now among the Israeli and Palestinian people. As the United Nations voted in 1947 to Partition Palestinian land into two states, Jewish and Arab. Neither the Palestinian nor the neighboring Arab countries accepted the founding of Israel. Founding of Israel. Since then, the conflict between two rival forces escalated. Israel gained more ground on conflict, which established the facto, de facto border after the Amity Amity Agreement in 1949. Around 7 lakh Palestinians that served around 85 percent of the total population were expelled and were never allowed to return to their home. In 1965, Palestinian Liberation Organization, PLO, was founded, which pursued establishing Palestinian sovereignty. The PLO was secular organization composed of left-wing ideology from within the Muslims. Israel instead continuously attacked this organization and continued to annex Palestinian land. In 1967, Israel launched a preemptive war against Jordan, Egypt, and Syria. In this offensive, Israel annexed the Sinai Peninsula and the Gaza Strip from Egypt and Golan Heights from Syria and West Bank and East Jerusalem from Jordan. By annexing the lands from this country, Israel opened the way for more conflicts in the Arab world. Israel treated the Palestinian population under its control and descend in a mission to expand Jewish settlement in Gaza and the West Bank and further annex Arab land. The Palestinians were also used as a cheap source of manual labor in, inside Israel. This caused the young Palestinian uprising in 1987 
against Israel brutality. Israel arrested a large number of youth and subjected them to collective punishment. In 1993, the Oslo Peace Process, the Oslo Peace Process brought PLO and Israel in the end agreement on which the right of Palestinian people to self-determination was recognized. But still, Israel did not accept the Palestinian state. The Oslo Accord established the Palestinian National Authority and granted limited rights to self-governance over the West Bank and Gaza Strip. According to this accord, millions of Palestinian, Palestinian classified as refugees were allowed to return to their homes, but this agreement had never been implemented in practice. In 1995, then Israeli Prime Minister, Isaac Robin, was assassinated by Ariel Sharon and Benjamin Netanyahu, Netanyahu, who is the present Prime Minister now. Robin's widow claims, as long as, as long time serving Prime Minister of Israel, Netanyahu's head are plotted with the assassination of Isaac Robin, two millions of Palestinian women, children and youth. This is a bloody crime of Israeli government. This is the bloody crime the Israeli government has been committing for a very, from a very inception of the Israeli state, while the so-called international community, the USA and European Union, have been paying lip service to a two-state solution. As a prime minister, you have been repeatedly saying that you will never accept the Palestinian state. Why your ancestors were put into Holocaust by the Nazi in Germany? You are following the same path Nazism in Europe, in Israel. You have destroyed cities in Gaza, killed thousands of women and children, displaced millions of youth in some, put the Arab world into Holocaust. The state of Israel was established with the conception of giving justice to the displayed Jews, but with military support by USA, this Jewish state has been turned into an imperialist outpost of the US imperialism in the Middle East. This is blatantly unjust, blatantly unjust to the Palestinian people and cruel, truly unjust to humanity. Why the Palestinians have registered your imperialist and expansionist policy? You have stated that they have chosen the road to hell. Your policy has chosen the road to hell by causing continuous uprising within Israel, within Palestine, Arab, and even within Israel. Our party appeals to Hamas and other religious fundamentalist groups that the national aspiration of religious fanaticism may help to create a tool to unite people against imperialist cultures. Still, it can never lead to socialist humanity, communist brotherhood, and progressive society. We appeal to them to consider a political paradigm shift by which all oppressed people around the world could unite for a just cause of the Palestinian people. Right Honorable Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, our party, the Revolutionary Communist Party of Nepal, strongly demands our approach, your approach and method and letter against the people of Arab and Palestine. We strongly demand the immediate withdrawal of your army from Gaza. We strongly demand to return.